How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. If this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, then I hope you can check out some of my other videos after you are finished watching this one. We have already covered a ton of cool topics like how to script your manga, how to name your original characters, and how to create shonen power systems. In today's video, we will be talking about the recent announcement from Shueisha and Metabang. For those of you who aren't familiar with these companies, Shueisha is a Japanese company that publishes shonen manga magazines such as Weekly Shonen Jump, Jump SQ, and V Jump. Shueisha also publishes seinen manga magazines like Weekly Young Jump, Grand Jump, and Ultra Jump. Shueisha also owns Viz Media, which publishes manga in North America. Metabang is a Japanese company that offers several free mobile apps dedicated to creating art for comics and manga. These free illustration and manga production apps include Metabang Paint, Jump Paint, and Manga Name. Metabang Paint is a free, lightweight digital art and comic creation program. Similar to software like Clip Studio Paint, Metabang comes loaded with brushes, fonts, pre-made backgrounds, and other resources. Jump Paint is the official weekly Shonen Jump app for manga creation. This software was created in collaboration with Metabang. Jump Paint is a digital art and comic creation program that comes equipped with over 90 different brushes, over 800 manga screen tones, pre-built manga effects, and custom manga panels. Jump Paint also offers many lessons and tutorials on how to create manga by Weekly Shonen Jump's editorial department and published manga artists. Manga Name by Metabang is a free digital art and manga creation program that specializes in rough drafts. In Japan, the term storyboard is referred to as a manga name. Artists use storyboards to lay out their manga pages to decide on character placement and camera angles. Manga Name comes with custom text tools to create professional dialogue balloons. It also features custom panels to help you easily lay out your comic pages. Similar to Clip Studio Paint EX, you can keep your manga pages all together in order on one file for easy management. Earlier today, the official Twitter account for Manga Plus tweeted this out. For context, Manga Plus is an online manga platform and smartphone app similar to Shonen Jump Plus that is owned by Shueisha. In this tweet, Manga Plus announced Manga Plus Creators, a brand new submission platform for posting comics and manga. This platform is a collaboration effort between Shueisha and Metabang in which any person can upload their own work for everyone to read for free. All works published in Manga Plus Creators are considered for monthly awards. Awards are continuous contests where winners will be able to publish their series in Manga Plus and the Shonen Jump Plus app. Award winners will also be given monetary prizes. In the About Us page, we can see that a 1 million yen grand prize is offered for gold awards. Gold, silver, and bronze award winners will also be published on Manga Plus alongside famous manga series like One Piece and Spy X Family. Scores for every entry will be calculated through views, likes, and favorites from readers. At the moment, rankings will only be in English and Spanish. The results for the awards will be announced every month on the platform. If you already have the Manga Plus mobile app installed on your phone, a new section dedicated to Manga Plus creators has been added. This creates an opportunity for smaller artists to have their series seen by a much larger audience. You might be asking yourself, how is this new platform any different from pre-existing submission platforms like Webtoons and Tapas? When it comes to posting your comics and manga on Webtoons, there is an expectation to create your pages in the vertical web format. If you are not a fan of that, then it is a lot harder to make the most of the platform. Also, many successful Webtoons are fully colored, making it harder for black and white manga series to stand out. In terms of monetization, Webtoon creators can earn money through the ad revenue sharing program, creator rewards, and Patreon integration. Aside from this, popular Webtoon series with over 100 subscribers and 40,000 monthly page views can become Webtoon originals and will be paid based on the performance of their series. With Tapas, while it is possible to submit your comics and manga in page format, the majority of popular series are in the vertical scroll format, similar to Webtoons. Many of Tapas' top series are also fully colored. Tapas also offers an ad revenue program and a support program. The support program allows readers to donate to their favorite creators. To qualify for the support program, you must have at least 250 subscribers. With Manga Plus creators, I don't doubt that monetary incentives will be implemented at a later date. Right now, the platform is still incredibly new. In case you forgot, Metabang and Shueisha hosted the 100 Tezuka Manga Award in 2020. This international manga competition was judged by the creators of Dragon Ball, One Piece, Blue Exorcist, My Hero Academia, and Slam Dunk. The grand prize for winning the contest was 2 million yen. Also, the first and second place winners of the Tezuka Award had their manga one-shot published in Weekly Shonen Jump. They were also flown out to attend the award ceremony in Japan. Taking a look at the platform itself, Manga Plus Creators is beautifully laid out. On the top bar, we can see links that will take us to an About Us section, a Notices section, the Monthly Awards, Favorites, and the Manga Plus Creators dashboard. There is also a search bar to look for a specific manga series or to find something similar. Underneath the top bar, we can see a scrolling graphic highlighting important information. Right now, we can see an advertisement for Manga Plus, an advertisement for the new Manga Plus Creators program, and information relating to the September award. Towards the bottom of the page, we can scroll through recent manga updates and newly submitted manga series. What's really cool about the user interface is you can easily see how your series is performing. If we take a look at a manga series' homepage, we can see the number of views, favorites, saves, and comments. You can also easily embed your social media accounts to your manga's homepage. Reading manga on Manga Plus Creators is very similar to reading on Manga Plus. 
To go from page to page, you would use this little scroll bar on the bottom. If you click one of the icons in the top right corner, you will easily be able to share this manga series on social media. In the bottom right corner, you will always have easy access to liking the series and leaving a comment. If we take a look at Manga Plus's Creators About page, we can learn more about what types of manga are accepted. Currently, you can submit comics that are in English or Spanish to readers all over the world. You can format your manga horizontally or vertically. Using the dashboard function, you can manage your manga with ease. You cannot change the reading direction after publishing, so decide carefully before posting it. In order to change the reading direction, you will need to delete the chapter and repost it as a new submission. It's cool that this new platform supports both reading orientations. That makes the platform much more appealing and accessible to every kind of comic, manga, or webtoon artist. You can post your comic or manga to the platform using your PC or smartphone. You must register an account on Manga Plus Creators in order to upload your work. After you log in, you will be able to post your work from the header by using the submit button in the upper right of the display. When you click submit, you will be asked to select the file type from your device or cloud. You will have the option to assign your manga series one main genre and one subgenre. Once all of your pages are uploaded, you can click save and edit settings. Now you can add a thumbnail that will be displayed on the Manga Plus Creators homepage. You can also add a title, a description of your series, select your genre, select your language, select your submission type and allow comments. If you want to turn off fan comments, you can do that by unchecking allow to comment in your settings. Currently, you cannot reply to a specific comment. You must leave your reply in the comment section with everybody else. Once your chapter is published, you will be able to keep track of how it is performing using your dashboard. Manga Plus Creators FAQ page says that you can post works that are already released on other websites or services as long as it does not violate copyrights. If your work has been published in a commercial magazine or awarded in other manga contests, you can still post it to Manga Plus Creators. However, your manga may be excluded from winning any of the monthly awards. Unlike on Webtoons or Tapas, your work is not expected to be fully colored. You can even submit rough drafts and storyboards. However, your work may not be published if it is considered improper as a manga, meaning it does not contain illustrations or the drawings are incomprehensible. In terms of sexually explicit content, your work will be judged based on the way it is expressed. This isn't a platform for creating hentai manga, so read the submission guidelines carefully before posting. Depending on the contents, your work might be deleted or your account may be banned. If there is ever an issue detected in your work, the managing team will send you an email. There is a page limit of 100 pages per chapter. Manga Plus Creators recommends uploading at least 8 pages to be considered for a monthly award. Your manga pages should be up to 5 megabytes per file. JPEG, PNG, and MDP files are all accepted. If you are an aspiring comic, manga, or webtoon artist, Manga Plus Creators might be the platform for you. We have never had a big platform like Webtoons that focuses exclusively on manga. There have been many smaller groups that have attempted to do something like this in the past, but in my opinion, Manga Plus Creators has the greatest potential. It will be very interesting to see how this platform evolves in the future. This collaboration between Shueisha and Metabang may change the indie manga scene as we know it. I'm very interested to see how many independent creators move over to this platform. In less than 24 hours, hundreds of different manga series have already been posted to Manga Plus creators. Leave a comment down below telling us how you feel about this brand new manga platform. Do you think Manga Plus Creators has the ability to compete with platforms like Webtoons or Tapas? And will you be posting your comics or manga on Manga Plus Creators? That's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving this video a like and subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Nearly 80% of my channel viewers are not subscribers. As always, keep creating everyone. I will see you all in the next one.